Yeah. All right, uh, I've got something here. You guys talked about Tucker Carlson. Um, has anybody seen the Tucker Carlson interview with a person by the name of Mike Benz, B E N Z? A little bit, Tommy says. All right, there you go, Tommy, with some more fun facts. So, Jeff, I, I haven't seen I haven't seen the entire. It's like a forty-five minute long interview, and I would, in all seriousness, every American should go watch it because what they discuss is how the military, specifically the military, is involved in censorship of information to the American people and that encompasses everything we lived through through the last three or four years. And we all know that to be true, but this is like this guy worked in the industry. He has specifics and it's always significant to me because it's the military. It's not just politicians doing it. It's the United States military. That's the most deadly force the world has ever known. Targeting the people, and this guy is talking yeah, about. I agree. It. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I had uh, somebody had had something sent in about it, and basically, after the, uh, 2016, the let's say the the forces. I don't know if they're military or not, uh, but the forces that are used by certain three-letter agencies to topple other governments through the use of manipulation of whether it be media, social media, or the other divisive strategies. As soon as Trump got in, all of those nasty things that, that some agencies do were now turned, instead of outwardly, they were turned inwardly. It's all the techniques that they developed over the last 20, 25 years, starting wars overseas against terrorism. It's all those psychological operations they do, and all the stuff I would never be able to fully understand what I'm saying, talk about. But they, again, it's militarized. They turn it back on the American people, which is, I don't know, I'll let somebody else describe that. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess where I'm going with this, I do have a link to it, um, but I didn't, it was too quick. It was, I had like two minutes before the uh, call. So I will get the link. I believe I sent it to a number of people. Uh, and uh, Tommy, I'll send it to you, but uh, so you've already seen it. But for anybody listening, I believe it's at TuckerCarlson.com, and the title is the uh, Censored the National Security State of Inversion of Democracy. Okay. So it's, a, it's an interesting name, but it's with Mike Benz, B is in Bravo, E N Z. Tucker's interview with Mike Benz. Please, Correct. this is a this is a absolute must watch. You have got to watch this. You have to. It is it is it is. I, I would say that we're disgusting, but that's not it. It is uh, it is unfathomable. Is what it is. But so, we so, have to fathom it because it's real. Good. How much time we got, Jeff? I got I got I got something I know you'll find you'll appreciate. So. You guys all know about the RNC pipe bomb, right, on January 6th? You guys know who found it? It's a girl, it's a lady named Carolyn Younger. Carolyn Younger was lead in the, uh, negotiator on a $92 million contract with a company called FirstNet. FirstNet controls every communication these police officers on Capitol Hill in the district do, right? So she finds the pipe bomb two months later. Everybody should look into FirstNet because... This lady, Carolyn Younger, and I can say it because I don't think this cops will ever come arrest me. The government did it again along those same lines. I know you don't need to respond to this, but it is coming out. And when we prove this, I've been told, once we prove that the government did this and they're close to doing it, everybody gets a new trial, is the quote. Oh, a new trial, yeah, and the term is entrapment. And uh, if I, uh, I, will, I will pull up the case law. You know what, tomorrow I will bring up the case law uh, specific to entrapment. It is, it is a one sentence, uh, uh, well, it's a one sentence is all I have to say when I read it. it uh, you'll go, oh, wow, there you go. So uh, let's save that little nugget for tomorrow. Okay, Jim, uh, I, have, okay, what else you got? I have a patriot out here. I go by Coach Kim. I've been um, doing a lot. I've been on the front for a couple of years. I think I was from Oakland Hills back then. I'm working on election validity now for about a year and a half with a friend in New York. And one of the people who we work with was part of the NSA, and he was.